So in this tutorial, we're going to create a basic pendulum shape and we're going to use keyframes to animate that. So we're going to create a basic swinging pendulum animation. So I'm going to start off using the line tool. The very first thing I want to do is I've not got any drawing layers down here, so I need to create a new drawing. So if I go to add drawing layer, I'm going to call this pend and choose add and close. So with the pend layer selected, I'm going to use the line tool to create a basic line. Let's get my thickness about there. This is going to be the rope that my pendulum hangs off. I'm going to hold down shift to constrain proportions. There we go. And now holding down this line tool, I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. I'm going to draw an ellipse as well. Again, I'm going to hold down shift to constrain proportions. That's so not like a wonky oval. Now using the select tool, I'm just going to move this into position. Make it slightly tidier. I can zoom in using two on the keyboard or zoom out using one on the keyboard. So if I zoom in, there's a little bit hanging down there which I want to chop off. So it's a really handy tool for chopping off overlapping parts. If you hold down the select tool, you'll find a cutter. So with the cutter, you can click on something and delete it and it'll delete anything which crosses over another line. Let's go back to the selection tool and zoom out. So there's my pendulum. What I want to do now is to animate the pendulum. Now, there's a big difference in types of layers. You have drawing layers, and then you have peg layers. A peg is almost like a pin that you pin something down with and you animate it on that particular point. You can't animate a drawing in this way. You can only animate a peg. So you have to basically create a peg for that drawing. So to show you what I mean, I'm going to click Add Peg. And you'll see I have this Pend-P. So Pendulum, Pend-P for peg. You'll see it's attached i.e. the peg is the parent of this drawing layer. You can collapse that to hide it, but you can see this drawing exists under here. So I'm going to click on the peg layer, and up here I've got my advanced animation tools. If you can't see those, you'll need to right-click anywhere in the toolbar area and make sure advanced animation is ticked. So first I'm going to use is the rotate tool. So the rotate anchor needs to be at the top of this pendulum. Now the reason for that is if I try and rotate the animation now, you'll see that's in completely the wrong place for a pendulum to swing. I'm just going to undo that. So I want this anchor point to be up at the top of the rope, like so. So if I do rotate the animation, it'll swing in the correct place. Let me undo that. So what we need to do now is we need to actually animate the rotation. Now make sure that you've got animate mode toggled. If animate isn't toggled, you won't be able to create keyframes and you won't be able to make an animation. Next, I want transform because I've used the rotate tool to set the position, but now I need to transform the actual position of that. Now, before I start any transformations, you'll notice that my pendulum is only one cell, or sorry, is only one frame in length. What I need to do, I need to extend that drawing. So I'm going to go right at the end of my animation. I'm going to right click in here and choose extend exposure. So now my drawing exists throughout every frame. Now the reason why it only creates it in one cell is because you can do frame by frame hand drawn animation. So you can literally draw things frame by frame and I'll get into that in more detail in the later tutorial. So with the first frame of the peg layer selected, I'm going to adjust the position of my pendulum. So it starts up here. That's at frame one. So 12 frames later at frame 13, I'm going to click in there, click inside this frame here and adjust the position to where I want my pendulum to stop swinging. There we go. So if I just basically, so if I just basically move the playhead backwards and forwards, you can see how that swings over. Now what I can do to speed up this process, I can literally click in the first frame, hold down shift and click in the last frame of animation to select it all, and use command C to copy. I can then move to frame 25, so 12 frames later, Click in there and paste that animation in again. And I can do the same again. So go to frame 49, paste that in again. And then last of all, I want to go to frame 73. Now that's only 70, so I'm going to extend my animation by three frames. Slightly longer. Zoom in using two. There we go. So I right click in here and choose Extend Exposure. I'm going to copy that last position 
and paste it into there. So that should create a nice loop. So let me just play that from the beginning. I'll make sure I've got loop animation enabled and press play. There we go, a very basic swinging pendulum.